Just doing a little experimentation with uh, radio amplifiers. I had done a video a couple of months ago showing uh, some basic amplifier experimentation and this is, uh, of course this was one of the circuits that I had built right here. Uh, of course really working on breadboards isn't that suitable so I had to uh, step the complication up a little bit and uh, basically built the same type of amplifier uh, just uh, built it so that it uses SMA connectors I wanted everything to be modular and of course to uh, get the best signal integrity used uh, uh, SMA cable and I had built a total of three amplifiers. Uh, I had designed them, hadn't put a, real, a whole lot of thought into, uh, you know, things like impedance and and uh, stuff like that. Just basically built them at least with an unloaded gain of 100. And these three, the two modules here, here, are basically the same as that one there. Uh, this right here is my double balanced mixer. And it does look a bit of a mess, but uh, this is the first time I've wound toroids and uh, also the first time that uh, I've built a double balanced mixer. And it uh, turned out to be uh, very simple to do uh, using BAT-43 diodes and uh, trifoller winding uh, toroids. Uh, can't remember what the site was that I looked on, but there was a site out there that had some good information on how to wind them. and. I bought some toroids and uh, it worked very well. To uh, drive the amplifier right now, I'm just using my signal generator. And right now, what you were hearing was uh, at uh, 3922, or about uh, 3.922 megahertz. Uh, I do have a few filters added in. Uh, basically, got a filter set up that was designed for a 3 dB cutoff of about 2 megahertz. If I don't have that filter on there, there are certain high power stations around, particularly of the religious type, that will just totally overwhelm this receiver. So adding that in worked quite well. Of course I was really quite surprised also by adding that in there uh, that I was able to still pick up a signal at uh, you know almost 4 megahertz. In fact, uh, I've picked up signals as high as uh, 6 and 7 megahertz at this point. The antenna that I have is uh, basically running down below the table and I drilled a hole through my wall there and, and ran it just basically up the side of the wall. And my uh, audio out is here. Of course the uh, mixer produces a difference frequency and I'm just doing a uh, simple mixing uh, this is a 10 kilohertz uh, low pass filter. Probably from what I've seen, I probably need to drop that down to maybe 5 or 6 kilohertz because on some of the uh, frequencies I listen on, adjacent frequencies are bleeding through. And then I did cheat a little bit on my uh, audio amp. I had one, I did have an audio amp built on the uh, built on the breadboard here, but then I remembered I had these old speakers for my computer, so I just uh, rather than mess with trying to build another uh, uh, audio amplifier. These have worked uh, quite nicely and it's just basically taking the output of my uh, second stage of audio amplification just dumping out to the board and uh, through a, uh, a, th a 2 kilohertz or 2 microfarad capacitor just to uh, filter out any DC component coming from the prior stage and just running that right into the amplifier and overall I've been really surprised with the uh, with the performance of this amplifier. Uh, one of the big problems I did have was uh, external noise sources, in particular uh, uh, the, the compact fluorescence. Uh, all I've got on right now is the uh, overhead fluorescent lamp, but if I turn on the, uh, the lights in this room I will get a considerable amount of noise. Another big noise source was the uh, outdoor halogen lights. Uh, I was picking up a humongous amount of noise and I had done a bunch of troubleshooting trying to figure out where the noise was coming from and even had all the lights off in the house and then I finally remembered that well I've still got those uh, halogen lights as soon as I turned those off the noise dropped considerably. So 
Anyway, this is just my first amplifier. I plan on doing some more experimentation. Next step will be to uh, build a uh, build some kind of a VCO, probably something uh, using a Varactor in either a Colpitson or Hartley oscillator, and try and get the uh, get the signal mixer get my signal mixer off of the uh, signal generator so that it can uh, stand alone on its own and just keep working my way up from there.